Hello. I'm Norman. I live here. I've just got up. I hate looking at my face first thing in the morning. So what I do, I pull my ears out like this. <laughs> I make a really hideous face. Look in the mirror, hold it for about 10 seconds. <laughs> Let go. You look really good looking after that. <laughs> There's Dirt, my dog, over there. Say hello, Dirt. No. <laughs> he can be quite rude at times. But he keeps me company, and that's important when you live on your own. You don't live on your own. Yes, I do. <laughs> what about me, then? But you're a dog, Dirt. Oh, great. Dogs don't count now, then. You know what I mean. No, I'm afraid I bleeding well don't. <laughs> All right. I live here with my dog called Dirk. Now, that's more like it. Actually, you've caught me at rather a busy time at the moment. I'm an inventor, you see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just about to take my latest idea along to the inventions office. I'm very excited about it. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> I think I've really hit the jackpot this time. <laughs> I know they look a bit strange at the moment, but so did leg warmers. And they still do. <laughs> no, they don't. I've got a pair and they don't look strange. You should wear them to the invention office. It could help you clinch your deal. <laughs> do you know what, Dirt? You just made a good point there. I'll go and put them on right away. <laughs> this should be a laugh. What did you say, Dirt? I said, don't forget your scarf. It's cold out. <laughs> Good morning. What? <laughs> me arm! Me arm! Help me! <laughs> Thanks a lot, mate. Do you mind? What have you invented, then? You don't think I'm going to tell you? I'll show you what I've invented. All oh, right. You're first. Shut your eyes. <laughs> you can open them now. <laughs> Leg warmers have been around for years. No, higher up, higher up. <laughs> that is a joke, isn't it? <laughs> Two pairs in one. So you never have to worry about leaving a pair lying around. <laughs> this will revolutionise spectacle wearing as we know it. You're in the wrong place. You should be in the waiting room of a psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Come on, let's have a look at your invention. No. I didn't want to know what it was anyway. Good. Loads of other inventions I'm working on. You know that puck they use in ice hockey? And when you watch a game on television, you can hardly see it. I'm working on a puck that glows very brightly, so you can see it all the time. 
Dirk suggested fitting a lighted candle on top of the putt. He's a lad, isn't he? <laughs> Another invention I'm working on are my self-tying shoelaces. Having a bit of trouble with them at the moment. They keep running away. <laughs> Hold it there, sir. Would you mind pulling into the side of the pavement? That's right, there we go. What's going on, Constable? Just answer the questions, sir. Yes, Constable. I notice you're not displaying a tax disc. What? Do you realise what speed you were doing just then, sir? No. You exceeded the speed limit by two miles an hour and were also seen walking on the right-hand side of the pavement for a distance of 100 yards. What? I think we'd better have a look at your shoes, don't you, sir? Come on, turn shoes. around. Yes, give us your foot. Up she comes, that's right. <coughs> oh, dear, you see? These soles are all worn, sir. Are you carrying a spare shoe and shoehorn, sir? <laughs> what are you talking about? Getting abusive, are you, sir? No. No. Been drinking, have we? No. Well, in that case, perhaps you won't mind blowing into this. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Just as well, though. If it had been positive, you'd have been banned from walking. You'd have to stay in for a year. <laughs> How long have you been standing there now? About five minutes? Getting on for that, I suppose. Well, you'd better get on your way, Sonny. Or else I'll have you for loitering and illegal parking. And then I'll have your legs clamped together. <laughs> Well, Norm, how'd you get on then? Very close, Doc. Almost clinched a deal. They reckon it would have been a really good idea if people were just a little less intelligent. <laughs> I don't know why you carry on with this invention, Lark. You should do something else, like road sweeping. <laughs> it's in my blood, Doc. My grandfather did invent the deck chair, remember? No, he did. Well, he knew the bloke that did. My grandfather inspired him. Rubbish! Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right. What about this, then? What about it? Dream machine. Yeah, but it only works on you. Yeah, it does only work on me. Otherwise, I'd be a millionaire by now. You put it on when you go to bed, plug it into a video recorder, and it records your dreams. I'll show you a dream I had last week. <laughs> Killed a couple. A couple, he says. Two flies, he says. Ah, hi, boys. <laughs> Didn't mean to kill any flies. They kept annoying me. They kept landing on my food. Shut. When you were five years old, you pulled the wings of 500 flies in one summer holiday. I was too young to know. I didn't know what I was doing. OK, now hear this. Two weeks ago, at the age of 41, you chased a blue bottle one of my cousins around the room for two hours before cutting his mouth with a bread knife. I had to, it was me or him. Uh, uh, I didn't know, I can't tell. OK, enough. You're going to get a fair trial. All right, boys, what do you think? Guilty? Yeah, guilty. You know what to do, Mikey. Help! 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 Please! <laughs> Help me! Help me, stop 
I was glad to wake up from that one. I thought my number was up there. I've just had a highly creative thought, Dirk. Oh, no. Let's try the dream machine on you. I've never tried it on animals before. Oh, no. <laughs> go on, Dirk, give it a go. Dogs don't dream, they just go to sleep. Dirk, even earthworms dream. Well, record an earthworm, then. <laughs> You can't. It's physically impossible. The apparatus would keep slipping off its head. If you think I'm... If you think I'm going to kip with that thing wrapped around my bunch, you can think on, sunshine. All right. I'll try it on another dog. What other dog? Never mind who. Well, I suppose I could try it just once to see if it works. Good boy, though. Who's a good little doggy then? And I'm not doing it if you're going to give me all that dog talk crap. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Well, I'm so excited, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm thrilled beyond measure. <laughs> I knew you would be. Sweet dreams, Dirk. There you are, Dirk. Cheers. Put the video on in a minute, see what you've been dreaming about. I didn't have a dream. I've told you I don't dream. I bet you did. Look, can we discuss this later? I would like to eat my breakfast, if you don't mind. Oh, who got out of the wrong side of their basket this morning? <laughs> well, I didn't, because I slept on the sofa. You're a miserable dog. Oh, you're a fine one to talk. I'm not miserable. You are miserable. On the outside, I might look a bit miserable, but inside, I'm smiling. Yeah, and I'm a giraffe. <laughs> strive to invent the ultimate invention with a smile on your face all the time. What ultimate invention? Like the rubber bone? It'll be better than that, though. I should bloody well hope so. <laughs> Whoever came up with that one should be shot. I remember wrapping me gnashes round one of them. My mouth flew open and stayed open for a fortnight. <laughs> Dirt, what's your language? Yeah, if you think that's bad, cop a load of this lot. Gob, snot, sneeze, fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Nothing today, and it's only quarter past ten. Yeah. Right, let's watch your dream then, shall we? Yeah, let's watch a blank screen, shall we? No comment for me at this stage, Dirky boy. <laughs> 